Hey, welcome back to the channel. I have a ride video to share with you guys. We got Can-Am Rikers and Can-Am Spiders. We got Vernon there with his Spider RT Limited and Stu Stan in the back with his recently acquired red. I don't know what calling that red, but it's pretty sweet. Spider uh, F3 Limited. So two limited uh, from the Spider family there. And then also uh, Jen with her pretty much stock looking so far. She's done some pretty cool mods to it and got more stuff coming for her Can-Am Riker 900. And of course, the Banana 600, the Chiquita 600 coming through. Uh, Vernon's first time on this route. You've seen it before on some other videos with Kevin and I, but uh, it was just gonna be like a perfect day. Like almost gonna rain, but not. Felt real cool and it's Texas. So you got still got riding weather. And uh, which also means a lot more videos still coming. Throw mouse moto. You heard it correct. I have more videos coming, even though it's getting cold for some people wherever they live. I'm gonna still be riding, so I'll be pumping stuff out. And uh, speaking of, I normally only post, or you know, I'm usually far behind, but this is ride videos from last Sunday. So this is pretty current and I wanted to share it with you guys. You got Stu Stan with his of the Wrencher Riker garage with his newly acquired spider. So he also has a spider in the garage now and that's that F3 Limited. And then we got uh, Jen, Jen with him also in her Can-Am Riker 900. So it's cool being able to ride with them uh, for their first time, and especially with, with Stan on his spider F3. And then we got Vernon there. Uh, it's cool riding with him because I normally uh, hang out with him at Kevin's bike nights that he has over at Tony C's and that, that cat right there that older guy uh, He sweeps the apartments like every morning and I always just say good morning You know, what's up? I don't pay much attention to him anymore and uh, Vernon that's like the first thing Vernon said that guy work here. I was like no <laughs> like he's just one of those Retired dudes that uh, you know have to stay busy or whatever and I'm definitely trying not I definitely don't want him to stop or anything like that so i just say what's up he's, he's doing good work he's doing good work uh vernon uh haven't got to ride with him before so it's cool to show him this route and he ends up liking it a lot and gets to uh put some twisties on that spider f3 limited that's me missing the light and vernon yelling at me that it's that it's green uh also some stuff in this uh we do stop every now and then other than just showing vernon the the spider but vernon had an issue that morning with the spider. Never heard of this before, and it's like an ongoing thing with him where the parking brake gets stuck. Had no idea. He tells me, hey, I might not be able to make it. I have this problem. I look up some videos on YouTube, and it's like this known thing. It's F3s, RTs, everything. He ends up having that issue, fixes it, and then Stan ends up having that issue during this video. So you get to see it too, and we get to talk about it. So. I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, we'll get a walk around going too. Who is Sam? Who is Sam? The one with the garage. Yeah. <clears throat> the Wrencher Riker garage. Now it's Wrencher Riker and Wrencher Fighter. <laughs> Wait, did you get a bike and pizza sticker? Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> What is that? See? And you got the the crusher. The grill now. What the? RT grill. Oh, when'd you put those on? Uh, nice. Look at this. Oh, a little bra. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it looks cool because it gives it some black, because it was white right there before, or pearl. Yeah, it's white. Yeah. yeah, it's white right here. Nice. The bug catcher. You have a ram ball mount right here. You have two of them. Two of them, yeah. You see, it, it, it moves, so I had to see I had to tie it down with this. Oh, that's because this is long, yeah, but it has to be long. Exactly. What's up? Parking brake is stuck on. Yeah. Oh, real? Well, good thing he's got all the tools to do it. <laughs> oh, he's got the tools? Yeah, because it happened to him this morning. You do have the tools, right? Yeah. Nice. But, uh, if you give it a second, it might, it might release. 
see when he pulled up at your house? It yeah. started beeping like that. I said, that's the same thing. Right, welcome to my world. Yeah. Oh, it's just going off. You're going to go off? Yeah. It's going to happen again. Well, if it does happen, he, he, he has all the tools. I got all the tools. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, we said it before, it's a known issue like across the... But I mean, does it always, does it always go away or does it just keep happening? No, it's not going to always go away. Eventually it's just going to lock it. Yeah. You got to take it off. I'm sitting in the drawer, I can't move. Well, that's what just happened. I turned it on and video. off. Like, yeah. Well, he tells me, and I just type it in, and all these videos come up. And I'm like, uh, that's a no. And it's F3s, RTs, like, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, you gotta... thank you. I, I mean, yeah, eventually it's going to, but one day it's going to stick, and it's not going to come off. Yeah, but he's got the, he's got the but setup got the where, yeah, he yeah, needs like a, what, a 13, a 10. 13 and two 12 millimeters. So on this and, trip, uh, we're good. And a spring holder. A spring holder. Yeah, really? That's it, yeah. Hey, look at that, dude. Uh, you take it apart. <laughs> Just won't have emergency break. When, when he, when that guy showed his where he dropped the spring, it was somewhere else. And then I watched his F3 one, and it was... F3 over... is right there, too. I looked at his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, all I gotta do is hook that little hook, that little thing but right there. Right but do you even, do you even need a spring? Oh yeah, you do, don't you? You need you? a spring to release it. Yeah, a spring puller. So you pull that, pull the spring, and then you loosen and here. Off right there. And then you, you, pu you pull it out of there? You pull it out of there and it releases. And then you, just, you put it back in and put then put the spring in. back on. Hanging, yeah. See, they make it seem like... Don't put it back together, but it's like, why wouldn't you put it back together if you already it's released hanging, it? Yeah. yeah. Well, then you're hurting it by putting it back. So what you're doing now is you're just not engaging the the I'm park not this right now. because you don't want it to get stuck again. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna get stuck because it's not even on the little cable. Not even on the pulley. Oh, okay. The little cable is just hanging. This hooks on to that. Oh, so that's okay. Yeah. So that's the one thing you have unhooked. That's what I got unhooked. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So it won't do anything anyway. Okay, okay. So you put the spring back on. You put those two nuts back in the yeah. seat, yeah. but you left that. Uh, I left that off. So the uh, the Crusher series, you like it, but then you're saying that you're gonna enjoy it better with the cat delete. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it. Like that. I think it's louder. Though. You got catalytic convert on there. Mm -hmm. That thing is huge. I know. I have a regular rifle muffler. Crusher series. RLS exhaust. I think that cat, the cat to lead on it's going to be loud. You know anybody locally with the cat to lead? Dang. I haven't seen one on the spider. Everybody still got their regular. Yeah, you see, you need, you need these. This type of bracket because you can't mount nothing to this. They got the thing that fits on here. It's a big uh, the monster garage has it. Oh. It's really a foam mount. But it's a round ball that goes on there. You can put anything on it. That's what sucks because any any type of arm that's this long, it's gonna have that. You know, I I did a long one one time. And it was it was too much shaking, yeah. and the, this is the far as I think you can go before it starts shaking. Hmm. Looking good, Vernon. Look good. QR code. Uh, yeah, you know what that is? That's just uh clean window tent you can get at AutoZone. It's just oh, that, yeah. yeah, I want it to like knock knock the lights down just a little bit. So I cut these shapes out and they've been on ever since. This is like the like the first month I got my Riker, I put those on. And this one came off. Actually, all of them came off. Yeah, that, that side came off, but you can peel it off whenever and put it back on. Yeah, it's a clean, you know? 
But yeah, I just cut shapes off and I, and I put them on there. You can kind of see it when it lights up, but it was just to knock down the brightness because those are bright. <laughs> I like that light. Yeah. yeah. All of them are bright, dude. They're all upgraded. I mean, they're like, ooh. It's like Vernon says, you you have to. Just like on the Riker, they come with the the dull yellow ones. You can see that on Jen's there. I know she'll be upgrading her soon, just like Stan did on his Riker. But the Spider also comes that same way. I've seen them, man. They have like 12 headlights on them and they all don't do anything. There's your boy grubbing there off those QT donuts. Hey, you know, the donuts really aren't that bad. Normally I'm already filled up on on something else and don't even get around to the donuts there. But they got this Oreo one that slams, man. I didn't uh, I didn't eat it all at that one time, but I ate it later after the ride and it, it really came through clutch because uh, I was hungry. Ride it makes you hungry, man, even if you're not doing anything. Uh, there's a uh, old Vernon on the RT jumping in front there. We had fun going back and forth and you can really do that on this ride, but uh, isn't that wild about the the parking brake with Stan and it happened in Vernon the same day? I had to cut the audio on that um, because he's trying to get me in in trouble with copyrights but the song involved uh butts and if you can dance show your butt maybe i'm not sure but uh he, he was jamming he's got that mobile mobile party spider uh so fun ride you can tell we're all having fun minus the the issue that stan was having with that 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 parking brake but uh wild right happened and then happened to uh again but cool thing because like i said earlier in the video vernon has the tools so he's got a little kit going on in that if you guys want to hear some more I'll, I'll post something on it but it involves like two wrenches and a spring puller and you're good to go uh what's the fix on that i have no idea i'm sure i'll be asked uh, i don't own a spider um i just thought i'd share that little bit because something always happens nothing bad you know but just something always happens on these rides that i like sharing with you guys uh, also speaking of stuff that happens a hornet uh, jumps out of well, I'm not it could be a wasp or whatever I'm not sure it jumps out of a uh, stand spider like the dash and hits him in the helmet and then flies back in we're gonna stop here in a little bit and that's what he's explaining to us and uh, and then it's funny because later on he ends up uh, I'm like there's no way it can live in there it'll go away uh, no it does and it makes it all the way to his garage and that's where Jen kills it with some Windex so it's a pretty funny story Man, that one hit on I like, oh, shit. Oh, it's tight, dude. This is my favorite. This is one of my oh, favorite like, ones. Like, oh, man. Yeah. Yours is full color? Your screen? Yeah, yeah, too. Oh, no. Uh, There's a wasp inside of the dash. It, it came out, hit him in the head, and then went back in. <laughs> like a ninja. Ninja wasp. How did it get in? It went underneath? Yeah, it went under that. Uh, you can't live that long underneath there. Like I said earlier, I ended up being completely wrong about that. It can live that long underneath there. It made it all the way back to Stan's Rencher Riker garage, flew out from under the dash, and Jen ended up getting it with some Windex. Uh, so it was, a, it was a Windex she actually got while we're on this ride. We ended up stopping at the CVS. A little bit after this to clean our windshields and, and face masks so uh windex came in clutch at the end and worked out so uh yeah i, I didn't i didn't know like mm, a hornet really came out yeah so it did and they ended up catching it so the mystery is solved but man look at these turns i had to add this part i didn't want to make this long you know drawn out uh ride video but i actually wanted that really wanted to add the cool spots to it hey it was fun riding yeah. You gotta tell Kevin Brown he missed out. Yeah, yeah, I already know. <laughs> That's everything. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, definitely want to give a big shout out to Beat Attic for winning the PS5 and the PS5 giveaway. As a giveaway, I had that went on for only two months. Like I said, I was gonna make it quick, make it easy, and I was glad uh, I could, you know, Santa Mouse could come through 
uh, for Christmas for one of my uh, subscribers. So way too cool. I appreciate you guys following the rules, uh, subscribe in a thrill mouse mode, of course, uh, RLS exhaust and black, black Phoenix entertainment. I know those guys appreciate it a lot and they're dropping cool content. So it's not like I'm forcing anything on you guys, but, uh, we will be dropping a, uh, a, a doing a new contest soon, but I want to pump out some videos for you guys trying to work my way up to that 3000 subscribers. I appreciate your help. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.